Ladies and gents, welcome to another riveting edition of Rock Solid Wrestling Talk Podcast. With me as usual, we got Kenny Cornette down on the end over there to the next time champion. So you see right in front of him. Right in front of your very eyes is also the Rock Solid World's Heavyweight Champion, Chico Libre. That's also right in front of your very eyes. And Buck Nasty, Marcus Johnson. We have a show for y'all today. And, uh, well. Yeah, how about that word, guys? <laughs> you know what? You know what? You dirty motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I just, it's, it's one of those things where I just, I'm trying. I'm going to try this whole hold episode. Up. Hold on, before you continue, uh, to it's a work! It's a work! Trust the process! That's what we think! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's still a work. It's still a work. I mean, it's still a work. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that, that forbidden door so is wide open. open. We're, we're in the end game now. <laughs> but, I mean, like, there are there is loads to talk about. We are smack dab in the middle of. Um, WrestleMania weekend, and uh, speaking of which, we, me and Chico, specifically, we will be back with you guys after the show, because WrestleMania Night 2 is tonight. Yes, Night 2 Thoughts will be on this episode. Oh, this Grown episode. Grown and young. Right on the, <laughs> right on the edge young. of it. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's the beauty of it. I have never dreaded something as much in my life. As and that, and that's just to watch, and that's just really sad because <sighs> be... growing growing up, uh, you know, I've I've been in this wrestling fan game for over thirty years, and I looked forward to Mania like every year until like they really started to like going downhill, and and now like yes, it's to the point now where watching it is like a chore. But guys, yeah, do. get get ready for like so. If you're a WWE mark, whatever, yeah. shit, turn away. All right? Because yeah, this this won't be the show for you. This will not <laughs> be the show for you. Might well skip fast forward all the way to the end. To when uh, it's over. My God. I mean, not saying that, you know, people can't enjoy the product that they enjoy. Fine. That's cool. I know some good people. They 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 love, they still love what they see with WWE. Me personally, Somehow. I just don't get it. It's all buzz stuff. It's literally sports entertainment. It's mm-hmm. literally what ploy can we do? To and yes, I'm gonna stick with ploy. What ploy can we do to pop the crowd and make them forget about any other type of shit that's on the card? Oh, I know. Bring in Cody because it's such a it's such a big it, it's such a big thing. Go ahead and put him up there. We we got the EVP because from the other place. I am willing to bet that McMahon was just saying like in the back, oh, don't worry, I stand by. It's uh, it's gonna be stupendous. Ah! <laughs> How about that? Jesus Christ. Uh, how many times did they F and say that last night? My God. It was in the, all in the script. Uh, like a million times. All over oh. it. Oh, man. Oh, he had to, he had to be in, like, in, in back in gorilla position, like, in in their ear. Like, no, throw, the, throw the word in. Throw the word in, pal. Say, say, say the line, Michael. <laughs> say <laughs> the line, <laughs> What do you want to say? Stupendous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I mean the whole Cody thing alright I have pretty potent um, you know thoughts on this yeah, you're, and, you're mad man oh now. I was uh, see I tried to warn you man okay look let's get something crystal clear here I Cody the guy is a cool dude I know I have a bunch of friends that know him personally, that's met him, that's hung out with him, yeah. he's given him rides places, stuff like that. 
Yeah, shout cool out to Cody, shout out to Cody Jenny for the with the interview. Absolutely, he talked about him. He's a cool dude, but my problem wasn't him showing up last night. Okay, let's get that clear. We all knew that he was going to. You know, except us apparently because you know it's work. <laughs> but no, oh, he had to stay home to get the world title. We uh, yeah, we all knew that. But it's what pissed me off. Like, I I was fine. Uh, As a matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all how fine I was. Because right now I'm going to show y'all some footage real quick of me and your boy Chico Libre here watching the moment it happened. Take a look. See, now... Oh, yeah, you you taped it. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. I mean, you, you see that, right? I mean... We were totally cool. We were cavalier. Yeah. We were, you know, it, it was cool. It was like, huh, okay, well, no, well, there yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's fine. Finally, but finally, we can put this shit to bed. We watched the match, and to us, it was okay. It not, was okay. Not great, but fine. It's a normal match. It, it, that's a, you know a normal WWE pay per view style match. We're just slightly longer than a TV match. And, and this, they and, hit some spots or whatever, and yeah, know, cool, whatever. And, and this is why I've been saying that if Cody is coming in, they've completely dropped the ball for the buildup of this match. Mm-hmm. It's just all it is is oh, Rollins can't get an opponent. Oh, but oh, but bringing the returning Cody, like no, yeah, like, Rollins yeah, can't get an opponent. So you could you could have easily you could have easily created at least like a profound story out of that something. Right? Just something my, to latch on to. Yeah, my idea would have been like, hey, hey, I I went elsewhere, I got success, so I can make it anywhere I go. You're still here, you're hearing the E, and you're complacent. So now, let, let, and, and then Rollins is like waving the E flag or whatever. Yeah. So, so ooh, simple shit. So, uh, let, okay, so I'm gonna finish here real quick because okay. there's an important buck nasty gets this out. It wasn't the fact that he showed up last night. He did his match. He did whatever. It was all the interview stuff. It was two things. All the interview stuff yeah. that Cody did, everything that he said, I read it thoroughly. Whatever outlet he decided to give an interview, specifically the backstage interview right after his match or whatever. The exclusive clip. The exclusive clip that was like four minutes long, him rambling on, him doing this stuff, him doing that, blah, blah. Oh, it was this, it was that. It was it, it, he, the way he worded things, and the way he said things like, "Oh, I had to, I had to come back. I had to get the big one." Like, okay, uh, first of all, nobody told you to say, "Oh, I'm never going to go for the world title." Nobody told you to do that. First of all, second of all. And even so, they he just could have got around it. He could have got around it, and it was a, the fans came up with it for him as to how to get around it, and that's what we wanted. And that that's the thing. I'll get into that in a second. But the other thing was him saying that, oh, like, I, oh, I hope there's nobody lazy here. Oh, I know, I know that can't be the case because you know it's this is this is where you have to come to prove stuff or whatever. Like, what are you doing, dude? Like, you're single-handedly running down the place that absolutely made you like that's my problem with it is the fact that you had had, that you helped build from the ground up not even that like you know i get that you know everybody gives them credit for that i get that that's cool he wasn't the only one that's fine i'm not gonna die on that hill but what i'm gonna say here and now is the fact that i don't like the fact that he just the the had not and I'll, I'll die on this had not AEW been in existence WWE would not have wanted him 100% 100% and I mean that he's de- he said something in his interview that was saying something about yeah. he was like oh I have to keep the, I have to keep who I am I have to keep my song, I have to keep my attire, my entrance, my this, my that. And then he said, Vince said, well, that's what we're buying. 
No shit, that's what you're buying. You wouldn't have bought it if he didn't manifest it over in AEW. But then you go ahead and you go and shit on everything else that and, and that made AEW spend like act like it's not the big leagues or it's not big, it's not important, it's not this, it's not that. But to say, oh, well, oh, I have to come and I had to come and win. It would have been better if he said because of who I am, because of who my family is, that was always a dream of mine to come and win the WWE Championship. That's fine. That's fine. But for him to give that connotation that, you know, AEW is pretty much shit. Like, it just doesn't, like, so this title right here, like means, this one right here, like it means nothing. Less. Yeah, like it's like it's inherently less. Because, because it's not WWE. If I was the boys at AEW, I'd be pissed off. Like, and that's probably, I won't be surprised if Tony gave them all the directives and be like, just don't. Just don't even, don't mention it. Don't say anything about it. Don't, nothing. Just let them yeah, just do don't whatever. Add, don't add fuel yep. to the fire. Don't add fuel to the fire. Didn't the, he say something about not being able to wrestle in six years? Yeah, and then people were spinning it like, oh, well, he said he hasn't wrestled here in six yeah, years. Yeah. Like, it, 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 wrestling the E in six years, yeah. Yeah. And, but yeah, that's still no matter how you word it, that's still a slap in the face to the other people mm-hmm. and your other promotions. So what the hell have you been doing over there for the past six years? Exactly, it's the it's the slap in the face. Not even AEW, it's New Japan. New Japan who took a chance on him. Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor. New Japan. I, I don't. I didn't even think about it. Ring of Honor. Yeah, gave you the Ring world of Honor title. World title. Yeah, Ring exactly. Of Honor. Yeah. Ring of Honor. New Japan. Yeah. AEW. And it is, it is odd uh, how he he sees what I don't know if he saw, if he watched what Ring of Honor did, which we will get to later oh, on yeah. Supercard of Honor, which oh, is a yeah. good show. I don't know how he doesn't see that and at least wants to be a part of like part of that uh, somehow, some way. And then he went on to say, "Oh, this was the easiest decision I've had to make." Yeah, I what that was literally okay. Oh. That line right there tells me. Buck Nasty, here on this podcast, Rock Solid Wrestling Talk Podcast, that you didn't do all of this based on your passion. So in, when, in which case, you lied to us. You lied to our faces about the fact that, oh, well, I love this game. I love this. I, I love the business. You know, you might love the business, but money talks. Yeah. I, I think, uh, you know, Stacey, I'm going to shout you out because, you know, the NFW merch girl, you know, blah, blah, blah. But she said something specifically, you know, potent that I wanted to touch on. At the end of the day, as much as people keep saying that it's not, as much as he'll say that it wasn't, as much as anybody else, any other show will say that it wasn't, it's all about the money. Literally. Mm -hmm. End of the day, it's about money. He said somewhere, I forgot where, but he did say somewhere that he wants, <clears throat> after the birth of his daughter, he wants more money. That's literally it. TK wasn't willing to shell that out. And why? Why? I tend to think it's because he put himself in the mid card. He's not getting the big matches and, and this stuff like that. He, Cody he shot has himself in the foot with that. Completely. Though. Completely. I completely agree with you, Kenny. The, all the matches that he didn't have. And then, okay. Punk, Danielson, Moxley, Kenny Omega. A lot of missed opportunities. Lee. Hangman on a page. Like, dude. And then you go on and say that you've wrestled everyone you wanted to wrestle? Are you shitting me? Yeah, yeah that I don't buy. Are you shitting me? Anything to tell yourself <laughs> that this is okay. That this is okay. That's fine. He he spent four months weaving everything. Not even yeah, because it was like what, January? Yeah, end of January? I was gonna say three months, just for the sake of it. You know, spent all this time weaving it. At least you can respect somebody like MJF that 
blatantly just came out and said yeah. it's about money. Man. Complete. I don't blatantly. care where I work as long as it's yeah. about the money. Right? Exactly. Like, yeah. It's, it's about money. It's yeah. one company. It's about money. And what's funny out. is TK will shell out the money for yeah. MJF because MJF came in. He wasn't making a big deal. His work made it so that he needs to be a big deal and big money signing. And TK is going to finish that. He's going to keep that. He's an ad, MJF is an asset to AEW now. TK knows that, so he's going to shell out the money. Cody, on the other hand, did not prove that he is the a big main event player or whatever because he took himself out of that picture. Shot himself in the And butt. then when it came time to be like, oh, I want more money to stay or whatever, it's like, well, you didn't really do much of note to get that amount of money that you were asking for. So, I mean, and look at MJF. Every, everything he touched turned to gold. Everything. Even even Jericho's shit. Yeah, they, I, they, everybody thought he was going to drown on that one. Yeah, he didn't. exactly, but he didn't. He came out of that unscathed. Let's not even mention it. You don't even have to mention the damn punk stuff. Like, the punk stuff was absolutely golden. That's yeah, one of the best stories they've ever done. Ever. And he was the integral part of that. See, a punk was just along for the ride. It was all MJF. You know, I'm not going to say that. And they both went balls to the wall with everything in that program. And I loved every second of it. We say it on the podcast all the time. I loved every second of it. But now you have MJF doing the board blow stuff. I mean, the kid just keeps going. He deserves the big money when his time comes up and stuff like that. Because yeah. with Co and now even more so because with Cody doing whatever he did just now, TK's not gonna let that happen again. No. Absolutely. He's not gonna let that happen again because that, you know, as cool as AEW is with this and stuff like that, like, it stinks. It does, it stinks, it has to stink. Like, if it's stinging me, you know, uh, a, a, a nice, you know, journalist such as myself, you know, you know, me, Chico, and Kenny, we're all stupendous here, you know. Hey! But, hey! <laughs> I mean, if it stings us, it has to sting them. It has to. So, I know TK is going to do what he needs to do to keep MJF because MJF has a ton more upside than Cody. And that's not me saying that, oh, that's not me being mad or bitter or anything over that, that Cody went over to WWE. Fine. Be there. That's cool. Like I said, that was never my problem. My problem, and, and I'll get to the second part of my problem, the WWE Universe. They're having a feel. <sighs> a lot of switch-ups, too. Feel so, they're so oh, Cody toxic. Wasn't that, Cody wasn't that good anyway. Oh, Four months later. Oh, welcome back, Cody. This is the greatest. Of He's ever. home. It's, what a great that's match. The I got. He's that's, home. That's what we think now. Shut up. I just. But you know what? Uh, <laughs> that's not a lie. Because when he was in AEW, when that company first started, each EVP or each wrestler brought a uniqueness to them, a specialty to them. Once people started coming in that can do your job better than yeah. you, yeah, but your specialty wears off. That was another quote he said. His specialty wore off once you got the Punks and the Danielsons and the Moxleys and pretty much anybody else has been recently signed. Yeah, that's why That's why I, I stand so, by. So, yeah, push yourself into the mid-card, go back to the E where everybody's cookie cutter, just yeah. like you. So, yeah, yeah, he's right at home. He wasn't at the for he wasn't at the forefront anymore. He was a uh, no. He was getting pushed the, to the back. At the beginning, he was a big fish in a small pond. The pond got bigger, so he felt like a small fish. That's the gospel, and I have I have a tweet from him or one from his thing to back it up. It reads: We set the table, AEW, and then Punk came, Brian came, Cole came. Great. Period. Great. I can do my own thing now. We just leave. That's what Cody did. Yep. That yeah. That's that's well, his quote. Those are his words. Well, also, maybe if you guys weren't so mean to him, <laughs> and, and just kept 
just kept booing him out of the building and bullied him out of his own company. Way to go, guys. Let's, I hope I hope you you're proud what, of yourself. Let me touch on that. He, <laughs> he was kind of already showing his colors early in the game. Like, the rest of the few matches, now I, gotta, now I want to react to the TV show. You want to be Miz and Maurice. You yeah. got that. Yeah. It was a good show, too. You come back, you bury another future talent, have a couple more matches, and then you're off. Now I need to go do the Go Big Show. Yeah. So he was in and out. So he his heart really wasn't in it. If you're in it, you're in it every week. Just he like wants the, else. Yeah, he wants the frills. He wants the the, the perks. Deals, the perks. Yeah. The, you know, the, he wants us to he be the one sipping out of those collector cups that his face is on the cover <laughs> on now. <laughs> so, that's what he wants. He wants to be an actor. Yeah. Well, the E is the perfect place to be an actor. Yeah, exactly. They right. have the avenues. They have their own WWE studio. You're going to get a script. So, yeah. Word for word, verbatim, you're going to read it off. Yep. You ain't gonna do your match. At all. It's gonna be such a, a great thing because the, he, it's gonna be such a great thing because then he's gonna have. He's gonna be part of a bullet point club. <laughs> bullet point? <laughs> oh, my is, God. is what no, it is. No, there is so, no more bullet points. It's verbatim. Here's a script. You're gonna say it line for line. <laughs> if you can add to it and make it sound the exact same, cool. But it's word for word. That's all they get. But let's touch on the fact that he wanted to, you know. He he wants to have everything he possibly can and things like that. So why? Okay, I, I'm getting a little jumbled here, and Bug Nasty apologizes. But this is this is just it, it's one of those it's one of those things where it's just like, okay, yeah, it happened, but it's it's the aftermath that's really just getting to me. That's really pissing me off. It's really. It is, it's, it's really cooking my goose here. The reality, yeah, the reality set in. Yeah. And, and it's, when you, you two are so damn cocky when no, this see, came out. And that, okay, I get that. That's fine. We <laughs> we were. We were. But because I don't we, think... We, we built the proper story for him to capitalize. Exactly. To capitalize. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get into. Thank you for saying and he that. he didn't choose to do it. And he chose not to do it. That's the thing. If he, he had an obvious way off the table. Uh, he had an obvious way to get this done, to do this. We didn't boo him because we disliked him or whatever. We disliked him giving. It was just like the John Cena thing. No, uh, you you heard his feethies. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> you heard his feethies. <laughs> And, oh, and you turned him into Mr. Vocal oh, and Did we hurt your feelings, Cody? Oh, we're unapologetically AW, baby. Sorry, not sorry. That's how we do things on the rock. And if you think for one podcast. second that they're going to let you get your way over there, I'm not going to And I feel sadistic for waiting for that to happen. Yo, I feel sadistic for being able to be like, okay, well, now it's, we know it's, WWE's track record. So it's a, yeah, I was say it's a track it record. It's, it's, a, it's a known fact. Yep. It's not wishing bad on him. It's just I, a known I, yeah, fact. it's not wishing bad on him. It's not trusting WWE to do what's right. You really mm-hmm. think he's gonna come in and beat Roman? They yeah, talked see. about him last night, granted, but Seth Rollins was hands down the better wrestler in that match. It's just, I was sitting there, and I was looking at it. And was his music kind of low last night, or was that just my TV? <sighs> See, I've gone over this a couple times, because everybody on Twitter, on Facebook, on everything is just like, oh, that pop was amazing, that pop was massive. Chico, what did we hear last night? Like, it really wasn't that big of a pop. It, it was, was a pop. People cheered later, but yeah. like when he came... I think people were just confused. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Confusion. Absolute confusion. And I think there were certain people who just, there were a lot of people there who just watched WWE and nothing else. Yep. So, oh, yeah. A lot of people. You know why? More than we know. Wow! So they, man, he's so, fucking there. Yeah. That's something that they're used to. That's the Cody they wanted. Yeah, because again, that's tribal. Yeah, they didn't want, okay. They but, got Homelander AEW Cody. I was like, what they, the hell is this? Exactly. They feel bad because, you know, they don't know how to feel. They, they're happy that Cody's there, but they don't know how to feel because it's something directly lifted from AEW, put over into WWE landscape, and they're like, ah, damn, well, that's just them admitting that this worked. Or whatever. Like, this, this was... This was good over there. But again, that's what Vince said. That's what we're buying, Kyle. Like, 
Yeah, he, yeah, it's Walter Bryan. Well, yeah, I mean, the there is a bright side to this is that at least he like he's coming in with some leverage. Like he kept he keeps his attire, keeps his name, he keeps his theme that he owns. He did the Galloway. Literally, yeah. Galloway went to the Indies, you know, Impact, and then uh, uh, WCPW. And yeah, he, he got his cloud in the Indies, yep. became a more worthy name, and then they brought him back. Cody saw it, I was like, huh. Because they're friends, right? Some pounds of muscle on them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, that's the exact same room. Uh-huh. Same thing. Exact same thing. And he's like, oh, I had to do this. Like, I had to. Okay, okay, man. Whatever else you feel like tonight. So. See, the part that's getting to me was the easy line. This is the easiest decision he's ever made. Yeah, is that, yeah. It's a like lot he, of things in his really interviews. just spat in Tony's face. Yeah, there's a lot of things in his interviews so, that so, just so it was easy, me right off. It was easy for you to walk away from the company you helped build. Yeah. But exactly. see, I don't see Tony being as forgiving as Vince would be to make a return if he ever decided to try to go back. I mean, he got the... Well, he got Charbo Guerrero back, so... <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't really... Yeah, that wasn't... Like, yeah, exactly. I mean, at the same time, time heals all wounds, as they say, so... Um, I get it. It's the Bischoff thing. That's what I said. We'll yeah. see where we are in three years. I yeah, guess. and he could just do this little stin, however good or bad it may turn out, and then he could he could come back to Ali to finish his career. So this is not the end of the world. AEW will be fine like without him they're not gonna like fall apart some people are trying to say that they'll yeah. fall apart the yeah. fine. They, they, oh, I'm about to get to that AEW is fine AEW fine, is fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> AEW is fine. <laughs> like, honest, like the last few dynamites have been really really good oh god yeah so, god, and we'll get into that too but on the you know at the same time though at the end of the day you know um I mean, Cody is like responsible for a lot of uh, AEW success. I'm sure Tony Khan will admit that. The Bucks, see, no, people, the Bucks will admit that, and Omega will admit that. People he, are he, putting a lot on him. Like, oh, he was the guy that yeah. did it all. He yeah, that, that that's just like them talking shit, and they're they're just gonna do that. Unfortunately, Again, but, that's a that's a show thing. But, but at the same time, though, I do, I'll always appreciate the run. I do appreciate him putting over Darby, MJF. Yeah. Sa- the matches with Sammy G. Um, the la- that ladder match. The last match. The, the one with Andrade, where he literally set himself so on fire. fire. He got, he let MJF, like, beat him like a slave. Yeah. Cody had two good moments in the, the AEW. The, Co- the Cody Wardlow match, we did the Moon Solar the first the ever cage match. Yep. He did, he had good stuff. But, but why, again, he shot himself. Yeah, he shot himself right in the right foot. foot. Like, why would you take yourself out of the... Why would you do that? Action? Because, obviously, that's what we wanted to see you do. Like, but you did that. We didn't and, tell and then, you. And then when he made this one, he called that the A, the a belt. Like, this is yeah. the championship. Yeah, exactly. And, and <clears throat> what's funny is, I think he did that only because he was listening a little too much to the fans at the beginning of it. Where it's just like, oh, they're just going to book themselves in the main events and stuff like that. Then he got afraid. Oh, yeah, he took it personal. Being, he, yeah, he took it personal. He got afraid of being like his dad or whatever, you know, booking shit and, and getting himself into big match situations so he psyched and things himself like up. that. So he was just like, oh, you know what? I don't need to challenge for the world title. I'm never going to do it. I'm just going to put that on this match. The Bucks did it. Kenny did it, too. But... See how they circle back around to everything. We wanted that to happen. You guys, I are the biggest, lie to you guys are the biggest stars or whatever. But that that's the thing. We don't have to do it where it's just like, oh, we were lying. We, we're not. We're going to go for the title anyway, stuff like that. No, we just didn't want you to do it right away. Like specifically, that's that's how it happened. We didn't want him to do it right away. We wanted them to get in, to get established, and to, you know. Give people like uh, certain chances to come up or whatever. Don't just put it right on you because it'll seem selfish. I don't like either of those three people you just named, but oh, even I can respect the fact that go. they Four, took a year eight. off. No, they took a year off, helped build up the other stars, and then say, okay, next year now we'll start challenging for the belts. And yeah. I did get them, but they yes. put the work in first. To put you know to establish people first. That's it. That's yeah. what, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Dude, yeah. uh, and then. 
Cody because Cody could have just said, "Yeah, I'm going to be the, the first ever right. champion." He, nobody, yeah, he could have easily did that. Yeah, and fans weren't having that, and he was like, "You know what? I'm gonna back off that. That's cool." But nobody told you to go to the extreme and say, "Oh, I'm never going to challenge for it again." Like, why? Why did you do that? Like, that's just stupid. That's just completely stupid. And they, even though, know, even still, there was a decent out from that. Turn heel. He didn't want to. Uh, <laughs> We're like, Cody, turn Story, heel. And Cody's right like, I don't there. want to. <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, just, just have him do it. Turn heel. I don't want to. Like, <laughs> oh, believe me, you're going to do it. You're going to do it now. And then I, have sure. a, then I have a quote from him about the whole Triple H thing. We already know about this whole thing where, you know, Cody is a throne breaker. He has yeah. such bad things to say he, about him. Yeah, he was the one taking the most. Exactly. This, this is the quote that he said uh, from, this is the quote he said. Um, so it was Cody, I, I guess Triple H was the last person that Cody saw before he came up through the stage or whatever. Or, you know, uh, yeah, before he got raised into the arena. Ooh, and, and Cody said, no, but he's like, Cody goes on to say, it's no secret Triple H is my favorite wrestler ever, even though I destroyed his throne and badmouthed him to the end of the earth. He was the last person I saw before I went out there. If he knew, if he never knew he was my favorite wrestler, now I have to tell him. The pedigree itself, everything, even the stuff I messed up, I wouldn't change. That one jab felt good. I had this great education in wrestling. I worked here for, for 20 to 30 and was under the same learning tree, the learning tree of Vince McMahon, Arn Anderson, Michael Hayes, Jamie Noble, the guys who are still here. And then I had my whole life under the learning tree of my dad. I'm not supposed to do anything but this. It's my life's education. I'm not going to do anything but this. It took me a while to put together, but tonight I felt like I figured this thing out. I got it. I just have to keep getting it. Hmm. Like, I don't know. See, it's, yeah, it's stuff. What now? Because I was confused. That that's what he said. Like that. Apparently, that you know, it, it's whatever. But hey, okay, you know what? That was the he most made... stupendous. Ah! Hey! Stupendous. <laughs> uh, uh, he's like, you know, I I remember. Uh, there's another quote. I remember saying, "I have to be me. It has to be Kingdom. It has to be American Nightmare." And to hear Vince McMahon say, well, it's not broke. That's what we're buying. Again, just vindication. It felt good. Hmm. Well, hey, maybe he's not the hero. Wait a minute. He'll help him. He wanted, but he's the and hero. say it's not need. broke, but he'll break everyone else. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Only because he had the AEW name tag behind him. Uh-huh. That's it. That's literally it. That's it. Gotcha. That's where he, that's where he made his character. And, and nobody can't say because all those places that I mentioned that he was before and things like that he didn't have this character there it was an AW he crafted it in AW the only reason WWE wants Cody Rhodes as of right now is because it is a shot over the bow yes it, WWE is that petty nobody wants to hear that I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that, but I'm going to say it. AE, uh, AEW raised Cody stock. He found out the character that he wanted to be, uh -huh. and he went and sold it to the highest bidder. That's pretty much it. And WWE was just chomping at the bit, just sound just over the corner, like, oh, yeah, come over here, uh. We, yeah, then that, that and right now they <laughs> and they can't make stars, and so that, it doesn't mean they can't. Yeah, this that doesn't perfect line right there. Say that again. WWE right now they can't make stars, but it doesn't mean they can't buy them. That's it. That's that's right there. That's that's our rock solid world champion. That's, that's, that's <laughs> right 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 has spoken. <laughs> that's literally it. They can't make their own stars, but they can sure as hell buy them. Nobody's disputing the fact that Cody's not a star. He is, obviously. Nick Khan even went on record saying that it's difficult to make stars yeah. in 2022. How? 
Yeah, he was. <laughs> he, 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 he was literally doing it every week. So every every week. week. He said, well, how? Every <laughs> week. And I, yeah, I do. Like, really? <laughs> Ugh, it's so difficult. My, my fingers hurt. And then he's just. Oh, <laughs> well, now your back's gonna hurt. Because he's just going to landscape duty. My fingers hurt. <laughs> I didn't think so. Cody was one. Cody's the guy that was just like, oh, well, I've seen that WrestleMania you did the last year and it sucked. I'm, I'm going to say it's it 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 for spite. They did it for spite. Yeah, of course. Cody <laughs> think they did it because they like him. No. It's That's what I'm spite. saying. Like, why, why do you think that? Like, why? It doesn't even make sense. You know it doesn't make sense. It's an underhanded tactic to say, hey, look, guys, we took one of your executives. Literally and it. gave him money. Yeah. Are we going to use him properly? Maybe not. not. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. Our oh, choice for you to guys to watch and find out. a lot of money. A stupendous amount of money. If ah, hey, hey. Hey. I mean, if they want to get the leg up, they should like right up. I don't have faith in them to do it. Cody made Cody put his legs up. They get that money. <laughs> oh. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Cody goes back, you know. He, he he's just he's he's afraid of being a nobody. <laughs> oh, I wanna kiss you <laughs> all oh over and over and again. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Till the night goes easy. Till the night goes easy. <laughs> 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 oh man, but like I I digress with Cody, man. Like I, it's fine. Like I said, do you? I know you're a good person at heart or whatever. You're a generous person, stuff like that. But for you to say the things you said in your interview and stuff like that, in your interviews, right? And made it so backhanded. It's not to say that you can't leave a place like AEW yeah. and go elsewhere and try to continue to hone your craft. Exactly. But don't make up this story about how you're an AEW lifer and I'm sticking around. That's what part of this. Yeah. That's it. That's why people so upset. I'm never going upset. back there. Yeah. Everybody else can go back there. And it's making us as AEW okay, fans look bad. Talk, didn't it, though? Yeah. That did not age well. It's making us as AEW fans look bad because the shit he told us. And then, you know, WWE Universe or whatever, they don't know that he told us that or whatever. But now it's just seeming like, oh, we're how they were or but whatever. Just like you said, just like... Tony Khan is like, listen, learn. Yeah. After last night and him leaving and all that stuff, okay, listen, learn. I could see, I could have seen Tony Khan having a big, you know, locker room meeting or whatever, and like about the whole Cody Rhodes situation and things like that. I could see that have happened, especially after last night. I could see that. If you want to leave, just go, go right now. <laughs> but don't forget, we got Rampage coming up. I'm not gonna pay to stay here. Just go. But I think he he strived on it being an open place like that where you can come and talk to him about gripes, things like that. You know, and so many people said it's Key so word. open. You can talk to him. Yeah. To him directly. Yeah. Not a line. Not going to you yeah, know Dick John and Joe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. that person. Before you get to Vince, you know, you get to go directly to the source. Yeah. yeah. That's it. And. Uh, you know, it's the two things. Just, just get this straight. The two things that are pissing me off, Buck Nasty, personally. I'm pretty sure I can speak for the rest of us. Is the nature in which Cody said what he said in his interviews, even the one that you just mentioned, Kenny, with the oh, I can't go back, I can't do this, I can't do that. That stuff, coupled with all the stuff that he said last night, and then to Variety and all that stuff, little snippets or whatever, everything that he said as a whole. That timeline is crazy. There's so many, there's so many lines in what he said that you can easily take as sniping. And we're not reaching here. You know, he's sniping at these people yeah. under and backhandedly stuff like that because you know they fell out hard. There's no reason, there's no way they didn't fall out hard. Tony's choosing the high rule. He's not going to talk about it or anything like that. Cody did say he's not going to talk about it, but then he's going right there talking about it. 
backhandedly, but he's talking about it. You know why? Because that's what WWE wants. He, they want the slander. They don't want to seem like they're getting the slander or anything like that, or getting the dirt, or making it available yeah, to hear the dirt. That's, that's all they want. That's uh-huh. weird shit. Yeah, I exactly. Oh, we have nothing to do with that. Say it somewhere. That's why. Like, keep well, doing your dirty work. Hey, don't stop what, the music. Don't stop the music. <laughs> Do your dirty, sinful business. <laughs> But <laughs> oh, Tony Khan's beautiful. <laughs> oh, right on Tony's lawn. <laughs> what the hell? But the other side of that is how unbearable the fans are making this. Like, I would be abs- I would be fine. I wouldn't be so mad. I wouldn't be so jacked up right now or whatever. You know, not jacked up, I'm Mountain Dew! Mountain Dew! <laughs> but Wee! I wouldn't be so jacked up right now if it wasn't for the stupid, cringiest, goddamn WWE shows all over Twitter. I'm, no, nope, I almost said I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. You have people on Twitter saying stupid crap like Cody's debut last night was miles ahead of Punk's. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Like, are you kidding? That specifically draws Buck Nasty mode, and it pisses me off. Buck Nasty mode. Buck Nasty mode. Buck Nasty mode. It's just the fact that everybody else is saying that, oh, Cody's just the, oh, it's just all the best thing ever. Uh, oh, oh, I just had nothing on Punk. Bitch, are you serious? Punk had everybody in that fucking audience crying, me included. I wasn't even in the audience. I was here in Rochester, New York, on the set. Watching it as it happened, it was magical. Last night was nowhere near magical. It fell flat, if anything. So don't come at me with that bullshit. That's the top of the line. That's the only line. And you're never going to cross it again. Trust me on that. Get your microphone's on fire. (laughs) Now I'm sweating. Man. They need to stop, man. I can't. You know why they said that. Just to piss people like us off. Just to to do that. Just to do that. Just to piss me off. Yeah, that's for spite. They they wanted you specifically to get Uh it. Yep. And now you've got it. And now you're to piss me off to no end. All you melancholes of the world. Oh, God, yes. (laughs) I didn't even touch that chat last night. (laughs) Shout out out to our annoying little brothers. Yeah. Yeah, we love you. We love you. We're, we're, you know, we're brothers. Even you Q. But Jesus Christ, like, just stop. And Wrestle Cringe on Twitter is working overtime right now. Yeah, he's, <laughs> because he's the one going back. Like, he's clearly so making many receipts. And so many receipts. So many activities. So many. And it was just, uh good. Like, whoa, whoa, good whoa. God. I, uh, I just, uh I don't know. Like, it's. I have a I have a tweet here from Russell Quinn. I'm just gonna keep going. You know, really nuts that Tony Khan spent the budget hiring an army of WWE bench warmers. Bench warmers? <laughs> Let me continue. And lost his biggest star because Biggest star? He was his biggest. <laughs> Let me go on. <laughs> Has anyone ever fumbled this badly before WrestleMania 38? And then there's somebody underneath it. That's what I'm talking about. People make these stupid outlandish craps, and then there's other people below it on the thread juicing them up. Like, dude, agreed. The entire premise of why they started AEW was to be the true alternative, whatever that meant. Three years later, to sign a bunch of folks WWE no longer saw a utility in and letting their primary catalyst during their founding revolution is nothing short of confounding. He just used a bunch of I and G words at the end there just to sound important. Like, come on, dude. Help me out, y'all. Like, come on. This is... Big words. <sighs> I just... Yeah, I remember when the Jeff Hardy situation happened and that meme came out. Say the line, Bart. Jeff Hardy wasn't any, never any good. Yeah! <laughs> Every part... Like... <laughs> dude, okay. Just from what this, I just read. This constant goalpost movie they keep doing. <laughs> They've done it so many times since the inception of AEW. Now it's back here. Now it's back here. Yeah. Right. You gotta be a little quicker than that. It's up here. <laughs> like, what the hell? You almost had it. Right. Like, but I'm, I'm hey. like, they get, they debuted CM Punk, and then they moved it again. Oh, you just had it. You hit the goalpost, but you didn't go through it. 
Like you because said, he didn't go where they wanted him to go. That's why. That's it. That's it. And that's why. WWE like, good. AW bad. The, the, the difference here with no. us is. No. <laughs> We, bad. 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 we are okay without Cody. We are. We really are. We have, We've been proving that for the past few months. Can we name some of the bench warmers or whatever that these guys are talking about or whatever? Sure. Keith Lee's a bench warmer. Swear Scott is a bench warmer. Sir sure, Strickland. Just no more, no more East Slave names. Yeah, no more East Slave names. Yeah, Strickland. Uh my apologies. <laughs> that means something here, trust me. But Ty Conti. Ty Conti, Tony Storm, uh who else we got? Oh, I guess I guess Brian was a reject too, right? I, I guess he was a bench warmer. I guess Punk was a yeah. bench warmer yeah, for yeah. seven years. Yeah, just he was only just a forward WWE. Uh, I guess yeah. Moxley was a bench warmer. Yeah. Part of Jericho was a bench warmer, right? Moxie, part of one of their best stables that they've ever had in the last ten years. Yes, yeah, Regal was a Regal was a bench warmer, huh? Yeah, Rick. one of the best minds in the business. Help helped run NXT. But, oh, <clears throat> Cody Rhodes. They uh, by that same definition, Cody Rhodes is also a bench warmer. Oh, but now, oh no, gee. So what's that? What's that saying about you guys? Saying that, oh, now he's the biggest star ever. Oh, he was their biggest star. He's AEW's biggest star. Where? When and where exactly? <laughs> yeah, like, come on, dude. Like, that's that's their biggest star. He just had an EVP title. That's it. That's it. His skills had nothing to do with him being a big star. Kenny Omega's a bigger star than him. And they wanted him. Equivocally. Oh, of course they wanted him. Of course they did. And the you know too. how much they cursed Kenny Omega. Oh, the Bucks are, man. They, they did want the entire elite at one point. Oh, yeah. Apparently, FTR. To keep them from what? starting it. It's to keep them from starting it. To keep them from starting it. Yeah. And that is exactly what happened. We remember that. They were on the phone for 12 hours. We're Pepper's Farm. We remembers. Yeah, we definitely Pepper's remember. Pepper's Farm remembers. But, you know. Uh, apparently, you know, FTR is also bench warmers. We'll right? give you a contract with a six month option, so in case you don't like it, in case it, you don't like leave. it, we can leave and we put BTE on the network. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, Pepper and, Fire remembers. Eh? Uh -huh. Good deal? Yes? No? Good deal? Yeah, see, no. Out from that. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> it's not. Uh, but getting off this Cody thing, like. You know, do whatever. Just, just. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Absolutely. That's all you're saying. Yep. Good luck to you. That's all we can yeah. say. We're not bitter. It's just your. He'll, he'll either be elevated to the top or they'll he'll be slam down flat on his face. So start. Okay, th this is what's going to happen. Let's Obviously, you saw that. Because everybody's saying that, oh, well, he's going to be, just give it like two weeks and blah, blah, blah. He's going to be irrelevant. No, they're going to do it for a few months. Just for spite. Just for spite. For Spider. And then drop him down to upper mid car and be like, oh, he's still a big deal. It's all good. It's all good. Let it, let it play out. Uh huh. Yep. And then, oh my God. Oh, what happened with Cody? Blah, blah, blah. Like, right. Dude, there's literally nobody else. If that Vince pop. watches that TV monitor as hard as he does, like they say he does, that match was underwhelming. It really was. You paid a lot of money for a mid carter. It really was, and I the don't crowd wanna, was not hot for that. I don't want to at go, all. I don't want to say it they, because it makes me sound bitter. They cheered at certain at, at certain, certain times. Yeah, yeah, but like I say, some people not, have a ton of talent, and yeah. the bell rings. Yeah, they were confused. But what happened after that? You mean to tell me? Right. You mean to tell me that Cody versus Seth last night was better than Cody and Dustin? Hell no. I would, I would then, ne the e I say could that, never say that. But see, now you just gave him ammo. Somebody's going to write that within the next few minutes. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah. heard me First live, spike. and it's not even up yet. <laughs> no. That should have been a word of the day, spike. That's, what they, that's the key word yeah, of that's spike. It. Look, I mean, uh, apparently, uh, there's so many other great matches he had in his last match in AW. You mean to tell me that last night was better than the Sammy G ladder match? 
Come on. Come on. Right. Like, enough's enough. Like, stop. This, this is what pisses me off, is the, is the African fans. That's it. Oh, one the thing, fans. One thing I want to talk about with the match itself, because I remember Rollins, he yelled at him, like, welcome back to the big leagues. Oh, they made sure to get yeah. that in there. They it's made like, sure that camera mic was on. You're that. talking about the big leagues, and yet the last few weeks, you couldn't even get this actual match announced ahead of time. Yep. Apparently, you couldn't even get a match in the big league. So, what does that was, say about you? Because it was a storyline. Oh, goodness. And, 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 I, and you know All what right, I'm going to do? His ass. Let's move on. Yeah, I, but, but one thing, one more I'm going to do is we also hate toxic AEW fans by the same token. I'm not going to lie about yeah. that. Like... People they get criticized too. I don't know why they act like they're get, so it's highly o- favored. Right. It. It's okay to feel upset, even betrayed by Cody or whatever, but don't go out making everybody else in the AEW fan base looking bad because you are just big mad over Cody going back to WWE. Don't be that guy. Don't be that person. You shouldn't be big mad. The show is just fine. It, 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 like, oh, oh, you you effing traitor. Like, stop. Yeah, it's that, not that serious. Yeah, that's too much. It's too much. Like, stop. It, it, we are, we love AEW with a passion. Yes. It restored our faith in wrestling, in pro wrestling as a whole. So, believe me when I say don't do this. Don't be that far left or right, whatever, whatever you call AEW side. Pretty pro, it's the left. <laughs> but don't be that far left AEW fan and be like, oh, wow, well, he's such a traitor. Yeah, like, F Cody. I F Cody. Like, yeah, just, don't do that. Yeah, it just, sucks and it makes me mad that he, you know, said what he said. Not that he went over there. I've made that abundantly clear. But that he said what he said and that the fans are making it worse. But don't be that fan. Yes. Just enjoy AEW for what it is, and but that's the thing. Is keep, keep moving on. Nothing in our AEW lives has changed, you know, because of this. It's changed because of other things. Yeah, I, like Super Card of Honor. Oh, you want to transition to that? Um, I mean, because <laughs> we did we did watch all of night one. We don't have to review the whole thing. But. Oh no, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna get back to that. You know, okay. you know easily. But it, it, it's it's one of those things where because we're running short on time, but I can't explain how happy it made me to see one Ring of Honor thriving again. Yes. Two, Samoa Joe popping up. Samoa Joe is all elite. That that about time. That took it. That took it for me because I was not expecting. It. I wasn't expecting. It. I went. I went into that show. I was not expecting it. And then when it happened, I was like, oh, yeah. And I feel like the same exact thing is going to happen with Claudio. Yeah. That was just one thing I was a little, I had a little gripe on. Like, no, oh, Claudio? Huh. I don't know. He's he's still under the... No, he left, right? He doesn't have a 90-day. No, yeah. No, he, 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 show up any, run out. Yeah, he can he show up. He can run out. He can show up anywhere, anytime. Yep. And uh, you better believe he's going to do it. So, and it's not a... it's. Right place, right time. Yeah. And I trust Tony to be able to call that place the right time. Yeah. Oh, and um, your guy had a such a great showing, and he's now the new Ring of Honor Pure Champion, and he got the graphic of this all elite Wheeler Yuta. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, he's, not, he's not in best friends anymore. I guess. Move on. I guess. <laughs> Which, which, which I, I do agree he was he was not a good fit he didn't fit in with that group and uh, you can thank Danielson and Moxley and Regal for that yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah he's, even, he's gonna be the mu- he's gonna be a much better fit over there all right so I'm gonna go on record now and uh, go ahead and concede all right will you the Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Say it a little louder. 
<laughs> Say the line, Mark. Say the line, Mark. Come on. We look at you now. Even if you have to do it through gritted teeth. Just more. Okay. Hey! Is he stupid? Hey! No. <laughs> no. But I will go on record and say that I... You can't deny the last couple of weeks. He's, he's been he's gotten over legit. Chanting kudos, his name, having good matches. Kudos to you getting over. <laughs> I'll say that. Okay. That wasn't so hard, was it? Yeah. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was very hard. But but Nancy's a bigger man, you know? But Nancy's not a girl. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll be alright. But the one thing I do want out of this is a Trent storyline. I'm sure it'll. I really do want it. We do need that match. Yes. yes. I really do want it. If, okay. if Willie Yu is going to stand on his own, go ahead, Trent, put him over. You think they? You think he puts the pure title on the line? He doesn't need to, but I'm sure glad all these I'm titles sure. are coming back into existence because Trent is Ring of Honor alumni. Yeah, there's there's more to fight for now. So, like, with 3CW, like, I I barely have, um, I barely have non-title matches, <laughs> so, <laughs> everything's, like, for a title, but it's the lineage of the story of the title. Each title has a story every year, so that's kind of why I differentiate myself from everything else, because I don't, on the off chance... That something's big enough to be without a title, I'll do it. Obviously. But the titles are the backbone. So I'm very happy to see all the Ring of Honor titles making their comebacks and stuff like that because you could interchange them. You could easily have them defended on mm-hmm. Dynamite. The Ring of Honor World Tag Team titles are being defended. Yes, let's not let's not forget about your guys. Uh, <laughs> FT. FT. Yeah, let's triple, take it. Let's take a minute. A champs, let's take a minute. ROH champions. Because very, very well deserved uh, victory by the them. Way. Uh, yeah, they. Okay, I was fans of them already. All right, even back when they were Dash and Dawson, the revival uh, over in, in NXT because as we've credited NXT many times as being the thing that was our wrestling life support, and I will die on that hill completely. Yeah, but their matches with. Like American Gar- Alpha, Gar- DIY, yeah, all that stuff, like, made me a fan of them. But <clears throat> it was waning a little bit when they got to AEW, just a little. It was waning a little. That's cool. But, but as of Supercard, I feel like they found their place. Like they found their place as to where. I'm gigantic fans of them. Like I even down to me hating their music. I love their music. It, it's grown on me. It's grown on me. Oh, I always liked it. <laughs> yeah, like Kitty Magnanimous in yeah. victory over there. I'm not you know <laughs> only because I like their first team better. Yeah. Uh, I I understand. But like, but like when I was watching the show and their theme came on for the match, like I found myself not. Yeah, yeah, I was bumping. I was bumping too. Oh, like, oh yeah, this is growing on me now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it it did. It grew on me. Uh, and a lot, their entire act just grew right back on me. And uh, Kenny, you were right. They are stupendous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are awesome. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie about that. Like, and yeah. over as fuck. Yeah, they, they that specifically, well, I got because just how over they are. I put, I put it on. Actually, I'm gonna throw it up there right now for y'all because this is this is what I said. This was all me. I I said that. I completely said that. I'm I'm pretty much I'm fans of them now, and um, it's. So, okay. I'm going to read what I said. Uh, okay. You know what? <laughs> uh, throw, 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 it up, throw it up there now. All right. Because um, I said watching Dax and Cash Wheeler versus 
the Briscoes again. And I seriously love how over FTR has become. Unreal. You love to see it. And they truly deserve it. So, I, that's Nick Plancy's. Can't explain. So, oh, and uh, we got a hell of a dynamite. Oh, God, yeah. Rematch coming up. God. Here. FTR Bucks 2. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> I was hoping you said that too. <laughs> I heard that in the chat last night. Died. Hey, Tony, you better not fuck this up. Oh. Uh, here he goes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure FTR is coming out with the win because they have to do a part three. They and have not to. by underhanded means either. It needs to be clear. I think what if what if them boys show up and cost the bucks? What do you think about that? I can roll with that. Yeah. And then uh say, say that again? I can roll with that. Them boys will roll up. Not the Usos, by the way. Yeah, speaking of them boys, <laughs> JBR, where the hell do you get off calling the Usos them boys? You didn't know who them boys were until they showed up in Dallas where you guys are doing your show. So now you want to make it a bigger name because you have Uso brothers and they have gray in their beards. <laughs> you want to steal that name from the Briscoes? Get the fuck out of here. Man. You know one thing we didn't talk and then about? He went, he went over saying like a bunch of times, yeah. them boys. And it's a big, big topic I wanted to touch on or whatever. Stop but, stealing shit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, right there. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> might, we might as well get into it now. Can we go ahead and just name off some examples, please? Because I really want to just... Before we do that, um, I just want to give... Um, I want to give Jonathan Gresham his flowers real quick. Yeah. Because he, he is now the undisputed Ring of Honor champion. Jay Lethal turned heel, by the way. Yeah, that, that was a big moment or whatever. And That's how Samoa Joe came back. That and theme's a banger, Ruckus! Yeah. Dude! How do you keep doing this? That's how you do music. Why, <laughs> like, dude? Jesus! Like, shout but out to Other Ruckus, places man. that know how to do music. Yeah. That's how you do music. Shout yeah. out to Ruckus, man. It yeah. fit him to a T. <laughs> like, it's basically their <laughs> old E music. That's my shit. I love it. It's my ringtone now. Like, I'm so serious. That shit is fire. So, so, yeah, I'm hoping Jonathan Gresham, because he is so good um, in technical wrestling, that he will hold it down in the Ring of Honor, the new Ring of Honor, for a little bit, and then he will make his way to <coughs> AEW. And to throw down the gauntlet, to say he can't be a real world champion until he faced some former yeah. real world champions. Like, yeah. Everybody, that's what he said. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody that took the honor with them when they left. And, yeah. and there's a story there because him and Jay Lethal were tag team champions. Mm-hmm. Yep. That and uh, then some old Joe popping story up. Tell. That's what we like. Uh-huh. And some old Joe popping up and Jay uh, and Jay Lethal's face. Yeah. I mean, there's story with that too. Jay yeah, Lethal yeah. was made by some old Joe. So many possibilities, so many activities. Yep. Jay Lethal made Gresham, and Samoa Joe made Weekly. Yeah. Man, they have that all on display. Yeah. <coughs> that's but how, that's how you keep making stars. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. See, Nick Connor, you didn't look over there. Yeah, go ahead, but it's so difficult, yeah, right, Nick Connor? Go ahead and steal some more shit. Exactly. By all means. They're doing it stupendously over there. Hey! hey! So, I mean... Let's talk about the stealing for a second because it's 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 literally they're just like AEW will put a star right here, okay? They'll put a star, and then Nick Khan will come with like a little Vince McMahon and put him on the uh, put him on this, and they're right away with it. Daddy, I'm stealing! I'm stealing! <laughs> yeah, the, that's the biggest little dude. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest one for me is Cowboy Brock. Yeah, that, mm. that, yeah, like, because that came out of nowhere. Who else is a cowboy right now? Mm. A legit one. Mm. Cowboy, mm. Sh- I wonder. Cowboy, cowboy shit. Mm. Uh, oh, Hangman, anybody? Hangman, yeah. That. But let's talk about the most obvious one. Go Let's forward. talk about how Edge is stealing the Malachi Black. Good gimmick. Lord. Big time. And there's even talk of them having a stable. Come on. Who else has one right now? Malachi mm. <laughs> Black. Uh, okay. Let me think about that one for a second. Let's also talk about Cora Jade. 
for a second. Because hmm. uh, she... Uh, that the, that's the skateboard that can't skate? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. She almost, <laughs> and then she almost bust her ass at the skin <laughs> of the yesterday. Oh, she did? Yeah. <laughs> and, had a, and had a whole crew of skateboard in too. And her skateboard is like one of those little, little tights. Yeah, it's a longboard. Like, no, stop. <laughs> like... It's not even stop. Just it's, admit you can't ride. At least it reminds me of that uh, that picture of Lil Wayne falling off a skateboard. That's what it reminds me of. Oh mercy! She was she was so embarrassed that she just carried the rest of the way down the ramp. She couldn't, she couldn't ride it down. Cora J, you just showed everyone your deepest darkest secret. You're a big you must be so way. embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> You're a big fat phony. You're a big yeah, fat phony. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, do me. Wait. Do me next. Do me. <laughs> oh, my sides hurt. Oh, this racism is killing me. Do me a <laughs> Oh, God. And then that's, she's not the only one. You're not the only one being copied. Let's, let, let's name some more. Uh, you know? Mandy Rose mm. as yeah. a new NXT Women's Champion. Go for it, please. Yeah. Dressed like Dr. Britt Baker, mm. hairstyle and all. And all. Like, like, come on, dude. Title stance. <sighs> they they just, they can't. They can't. They can't they just leave can't. well enough alone. We, Looking at Nikita Lions or whatever. I was going to say, we went over Nikita like, <laughs> a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Gee. Jay Cargo. Oh, that, that, that makes pen. a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, you think they're trying to craft the next big... Uh... You know what they sound like? McDowell's versus McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Golden we got the Golden Arches. Yeah, they, 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 <laughs> they have the Jay Cargills. We have the Nikita Lyons. <laughs> <laughs> they have the Britt Bakers. We have the Mandy Rose. We have Mandy Rose. Rose. Uh, <laughs> and she's just so... Mandy Rose might... Mandy Rose might as well just be black at this point. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing to her skin, but she needs to stop. Like, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, all like, the tanning. Yeah, she's like, doing. that's too much. Them boys, yeah. the Briscoes. Them mm-hmm. boys, the Usos. Oh, gee. Which they barely got a match out last night. <laughs> yeah, like eight minutes. Figures. Meanwhile, Briscoe's FTR had, like, the banger of the weekend. Oh, God. Like, by a mile and a half. And now they're going to oh, be like, oh. they have Emmy Sakura. They have a Rick Boogs. <laughs> Rick Boogs! Boogs! <laughs> he got injured last night, I believe, so. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing it's legit, apparently. Yeah. I got you. Yeah! Okay, well, <laughs> nobody told you to lift. <laughs> nobody told you to lift two guys at once. Yeah, right, well, uh, you're not that strong. You've never been known for that life. You know, <laughs> it just doesn't work. Yeah, you're. Come on, get on up oh. here! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, yeah, you're, you're not Brian Cage. Who came back, by the way? Right, who, came back. Uh, who, came, who better? Oh. <laughs> so, he came back, and uh, you know, he's totally Blanchard's newest acquisition or whatever. Uh, I but, forgot. Hey, that I don't want. I don't want to make a racial statement, mm-hmm. but I kind of got it off my chest. Let's talk about how the new day got bumped off the car last mm-hmm. night. After doing a promo, a pre-match promo on the kickoff show, yep. excited about it. So wait, he couldn't go out and perform. They're, they're, wait, their match is not tonight. It's doing it tonight. No, it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be. Oh, yesterday, they, they moved it. Oh, I thought they got bumped off. No, they're doing it. All right, well, I'm shutting the hell up, dude. They're doing it tonight, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be cut for time too. Yep. So that'll be another eight-minute match. And again, no, probably five minutes. I kind of want them to, like, with all this stuff that's going on with WWE right now and things of that nature, they, uh, I feel like they're about to start forgetting some stars <laughs> and people are going to become disgruntled again yeah, and things and like that. Well, you like, know, he, he has a habit of forgetting type, yeah. that type of stuff. <laughs> the whole cycle is going to start over again, but, oh, you know the, you know the, um, the, the solution to that? Budget cuts. Yeah, budget cuts. <laughs> budget cuts are coming yeah, up. Yeah, the season's hey, hey, He still works here. It's budget cut season. What's the contract status? Huh? The An- Remember the Andrew the Giant <laughs> Battle Royal? Andrew the Giant. Oh my God. <laughs> Who said that? Oh, I can't. Put this up. Put that up there. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Like, are you serious? Like, <laughs> and they, y'all care less about they, that. They, like, 
Just put the budget cut battle royal in there. Yeah, right, pretty much. That was just a showcase of seeing who they should budget cut. Oh, cut him, cut him, cut him, cut him. Oh, no, we can't cut. cut him. He's an intercontinental champion. Really? Oh, do it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's vacant, pal. It's vacant now. <laughs> it's a reverse battle royal. It's vacant now. Put it on Cody. A reverse battle royal. The winner will be cut. Oh, goodness. <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's the Simpsons episode. Actually, that's okay because you're I'm... fired, Lenny. Ah, oh, nuts. Because <laughs> we here is all Lee fans. We scout talent too. Like, okay, we'll take Ricochet. Yep. We'll take. Yep. Finn Shinsuke. Balor. Come, Finn Balor, come home, man. Yeah. Shinsuke how do you so... devalue your mid card titles like that? Yep. So low. <sighs> yeah, Shit. Ricochet has lost like the last three matches. But if you ask Ricochet. He'll defend it to the day he dies. Because yeah. they're paying him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, like, it's like he's just doing that stuff because he's getting paid. Dave, and, and that's, that's just really sad. sad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, same with Booker T. And I felt like he felt threatened on that panel yesterday with that football guy. Yeah. Like, you, you're trying to take my job. <laughs> like, yeah, he's doing it better than you. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> you know you're not exempt either. Oh, yeah. Look. I can't wait till he gets budget cut. <laughs> no, he's oh, never, hell no. He's never going to. He's a two-time Hall of Famer. What, what is this? Wait. What, you cutting me? What, what the hell's going what on? The- <laughs> <laughs> and I just now, got checked. And now his wife is a Hall of Famer, too. So, Yeah, they're they're running out of people. Apparently. Which it was, it, it was nice to see, but, I mean, she... She spent it thanking she, him. She clearly... She well, because like, she would have no career without him. Really. Yeah, she yeah. was a nitro girl, right? Yeah, yeah. Him, her getting married to Booker literally elevated her yeah. to valet status. Even though she was a val, she was also a valet though in WCW. Uh, shout, shout out to Perry. He likes um, she managed Cleveland. Uh, Booker he, team. He likes him. We're saying this all about Sherman Milk. Don't Will Smith us, right? Oh, Don't walk on the set. And just smack your head out of all three of y'all. Like, goddamn. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it was a joke about I mean, relevance. come on, man. <laughs> and you know it. Like, uh, she even said the line, Oh, hell, King Booker. <laughs> like, but she clearly had oh, her... Uh, she got that heat that Bully Ray loves mm, so much. No, oh, speaking gosh. of heat, Logan Paul... Yeah, he, <laughs> he spent the whole match getting that heat, and, yeah. and then Miz just turns on him. Yep. Like, to... Spite. <sighs> For spite. Oh, <laughs> uh, help me, please. So what, do they, they, is it just because they want a Logan Paul Miz match next year? Yeah, that's what I'm or thinking. whenever? Uh, yeah, pretty much whenever. I'm pretty they, sure they're going to sign Logan. Because they can't make any other stars, so they got to buy they're pro- Yeah, they're buying more stars. I'm pretty sure they're going to sell Logan Paul, and they're going to say exactly the same thing about Johnny Knoxville tonight. Oh, God. Watch. It is tonight, isn't yep. it? Yeah, that's tonight. Can anybody tell me what was the reason that Gable Stevenson coming out last night? <laughs> they're, they're, they are trying to make him, like, a big deal because he's an Olympian, a little bit gold medal. They're, they're going for those Kurt Angle vibes. I did the same thing. It was, I said the same thing last night. I was like, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, you can you, wait till Monday? What are you doing here? <laughs> I sound like Roman. What are, you, what are you doing here, man? <laughs> what are you doing here, man? <laughs> That's I, it. What is this? <laughs> him, I, I am curious to see if they do pull it off with him, though. Yeah. What is this? A center for ants? <laughs> <laughs> but if I what? lose to Brock tonight, I can't go home to my family. He's man. not. He's not. This was the entire. This was the entire premise of everything they've done. Everything they've done up until now. Oh yeah, he's getting his get back. Is for something. Yeah. The opposite of what Zelda said in Breath of the Wild. Everything they've done up until now was all for nothing. No, it's not. It's for Roman. It's oh to yeah, get him and over to get his clap. And also, R- Reigns didn't beat him at WrestleMania in particular. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to now. Yeah, he's going yeah. to now. <laughs> Brock didn't win two for him to not win. It's for him to sweep him. And uh, yeah, yeah I, I I still don't get like the boner that they get with this match. I don't know, like them certain matches like them Cena and Orton that they love that they love doing to death. Like, <laughs> you know what I just thought of? 
WWE is so okay. Well, they did with Roman versus their whole roster, right? Remember that scene in Iron Man Two where Happy Hogan fought the one security guard, and then looked. He finally got him down or whatever, and he looked up. Was like, I got him, and then everybody else was laid out because of Black Widow. Yeah, everybody else laid out because of Black Widow is the entire WWE roster. And the one Happy Hogan got is WWE getting Roman over. Mm-hmm. I got him over. Mm-hmm. Everybody else is dead. <laughs> so wow. that's what I feel like. That's a hell of an analogy. Yeah, that, that, that's what I feel like happened. Oh. Like, they focused so much on getting Roman over that everybody else oh, died. Go for it, Kenny. I would say back to that stealing. Everybody tries to say that AEW is a bunch of, is, is a spot fest, yeah. right? Yeah. People just dive and hurt themselves for nothing. Yeah. Let's go to NXT stand delivery yesterday. Oh, God. Where you had Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller. With the just jump on a ladder and then to break his arm and elbow with nobody on it. No, for no one reason. on it, like, at all. They were they were over in the corner watching. But they needed a the moment <laughs> so they didn't just jump. Oh, uh, so that's just more blatant stealing. Again, of course. Yeah. Because they just had the, the, uh, the ladder match, the, the brass ring thing. With Wargo winning, obviously they needed a ladder match. But you know everybody else. See what makes me mad is, again, if that's your thing, if you like it, whatever, fine. You're allowed to talk it up and stuff. But me, I hate seeing it because I know it's not, and I know it's blatant, and I know they're trying to. We've seen, we've literally seen yeah, better. Yep, yeah, we've seen better, and uh, not to say that, you know, I, I'm gonna just leave. The last thing I want to talk about is Austin. Oh, well, yeah. WrestleMania, once again, is always every year for nostalgia purposes. It's always the... Yeah. It's not to build new stars. It's just <clears throat> the name is nostalgic, so you have to bring back the stars that are also nostalgic. Case in point, Austin. That list with Braun Breaker, if he's the future of NXT, why is Dolph Ziggler a veteran the champ of that company because there was nobody else they, they had, ready for the NXT title yeah, when they it's literally the just breaker. just developmental but nobody has <clears throat> else has been developed they had to send somebody down there to take the yeah. placeholder for Brock so they be, they can, being the reliable utility guy mm-hmm. like hey you come over here and do it but I, I do want to talk apparently about apparently he's going to the main roster now yeah. isn't he yeah yeah Steiner, I do, Steiner Breaker coming soon. I do want to talk about Austin before we wrap up here because we're over already. Right. You know, it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, I love you to death, bro. Eat it. <laughs> As you can see, I got your championship right here. Yeah. I love you to death. But in all honesty, as much as I wanted to see you compete last night, you should have just left it in the ring with the rock. Dude, he he waited too long. Yeah. It's, it's as simple as that. And he always talked about like how like um if he ever came back it would have to be with the right guy and this and that like that was like watching I feel like it was just thrown together that was like watching a Rocky movie last yeah. night yeah one thing I get, yeah it was like watching yeah. Rocky it's That's good. like really like you're old and tired just just leave it alone go for it Chico yeah one thing I can't stand in wrestling is when you you start a fire that you can't put out <laughs> and what I mean by that is. It, which WWE does all the time. The whole Austin, the whole Austin, the whole Austin Punk situation, where they were, where they were hyping up the game. That was the match. On that. that was the match. Yeah, that, that was that was. They the hyped matter. up that game. They should have struck while it's hot. They yeah. should have planned something. Whoop, your Punk, backwards. Punk, Punk was the guy. I do. I do like how. Uh, For a spike. The, again. the story that. Punk MJF ended up telling. That's what they should have told. Yeah. With their with that picture. Yeah, exactly. Of Punk and Austin yeah. together. I'm surprised they didn't steal that one. No, they would. They didn't know it existed until <laughs> AW did it. And yeah. they, they don't have anything like yeah. it. To they do don't, with they it. don't have the chance anymore. Yeah. So it's too late. All right. Uh, I mean, okay. So look, I mean, there, a, there was a picture of Kevin Owens and Austin. Though. Yeah, I'm, I'm an indie head. Okay, so me with the happiness for Kevin Steen, the person, living his dream. Main event of WrestleMania against his idol, Mm -hmm. Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm absolutely ecstatic for it. Absolutely. You deserve it, Kevin. You always deserved it. 
and I'm glad you got it, and now it's in the history books. You deserved every bit of that. And who's to say that wasn't the reason exactly why he stayed? Exactly. Because his yeah. foot was out yeah. the door, but yeah, they, not. There was, there was some, they, they put some perks in. And with that, with that being said, I don't blame him now for staying. Yeah, right. Like, how could I, you pass I, that? Yeah, how can you pass that up? I get it. Yeah, I get it. But I better see your ass in three years, dude. <laughs> Over yeah. where you're supposed to be. Now you got it done. It's your bucket list. That's cool. Get yeah. your ass home. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they, make sure my people was there to see the game. Yeah, I think you you can still have one more Kevin Steen run. Yeah, left in you easily, 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 easily. Make that money, make that money, and then you know go make some other money having fun. All right. Um, the only but, thing, the only thing is though is where does he go from here? Because like yeah, it, he did lose. I, like all he does is like he switched. He'll switch brands, but. But he won't. Again, that's the WWE anywhere. thing. They're exactly. just going to go right back yeah, exactly. to the status quo. Yeah, we WrestleMania you want it. What more do you want? WrestleMania is a spectacle. We it's lived up to it. Yeah, we lived hey! up to it. Hey! Hey! <laughs> it's stupendous, of course. Hey! Hey! I didn't mean to say that twice in a row. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Stupendous. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> but WrestleMania has become all about the name value, obviously. That's that. So everybody gathers to watch it, and they're like, oh, it's WrestleMania weekend or whatever. Like, everybody else agrees that it's WrestleMania weekend. Like, they'll watch it. Even if they haven't watched it in years, they'll watch WrestleMania. It's, it's the WrestleMania. name itself. Exactly. The name value. That's it. But um, and it is like... Then they go right back to the status quo. Of course. And even before AEW was a thing, like, it was, like, a, a big weekend for wrestling because there's, like, other shows... Yep. Joey Janela Spring Break, Big Great Big Gay Brunch, uh, GCW. GCW, yeah. And a lot of those shows Con. over the weekend <laughs> have Russell eclipsed Con. WrestleMania so far. Oh, of course. Yeah. Whether they want to admit it or not, yeah. but they're not going to. But Supercard. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that yeah. was just yeah. in, in the town that you're in. Yeah. Way. Right. Yeah. TK has said though that like going forward they, they don't want to He's do not gonna, anything yeah. with wrestling. And know. that's humble. I like that. Cause you know, if it, it just you know don't 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 try and steal the thunder. Like it was cool for a while, but it's just like okay, you know we don't need to do that. We know what we got. We know how good we yeah, are. Was, like, the super card was always like a part of WrestleMania weekend. So. Yeah, it was. It okay. was. So, but now it's TK so owns that. Now? So, which officially they got the like the paperwork done like this morning. Like he officially owns Ring of Honor now. Nice. So. Uh, that's cool. I'm waiting on that um, tape library <laughs> announcement. Uh, oh, of course. Where it's going to end up. Of course. Oh, it, it, he bought that too. So uh, Yeah. He, where, where are you going to put it? Damn it! Like, that's the thing. <laughs> and uh, Samoa Joe said that was a big reason why he signed with yeah. CK. Is the fact that he bought Ring of Honor. Yeah, apparently Joe was campaigning for yeah. Ring of Honor to be bought. By WWE. WWE. And it was in the stars that did not. So... You're right. You're where you're supposed to be, pal. Yeah. So, it's it's everything's working out the way it should. Yeah. So, uh, and it, it's it's going to be more valuable for AEW because they just for the simple fact they have all in. Yeah. yeah but yeah. I'm not the thing that gets me is that they want to see us fail like in fast. Yeah. Yeah. They're not giving uh-huh. me the chance to grow. Yep. Everybody just wants to yeah, just like yeah, fail like, yeah, like next week. Or yeah. They, they want it. That's the shills for you. They yeah. want they want AEW to go Nobody on. Nobody's wishing for AEW. WWE's downfall. You stay right and do you. Let us do us. No, I am. I'm sorry. Me specifically. Me specifically. <laughs> I said this in the chat last night. Like, I want to see WWE burn for the shit they've put me through. Like, that's that. And, and but it's never going to happen. They, 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 they never, never repent. Yeah. They never repent. They fall ass backwards into everything. Yeah, they never repent. And, uh, yeah, and, and, and they mooch, mooch ideas off their neighbors. <laughs> that's thanks without dating. That's WWE. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> uh, wrapping it up What's here. That, like that, that Family Guy episode with the, with the sausage? That would be like taking other wrestlers boosts <laughs> and making, making their way down and putting their name on the top of it. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs> Good place to wrap it up. 
Yeah, good, good place to wrap it up for sure. Uh, oh, we'll but, uh, be back with it's, you. It's not over yet, though. Yeah, we'll be back with you tonight. We'll, we'll be right we'll be back. We'll be back with you right after this. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be right back. Uh, we'll be back with you. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that crazy wap. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, uh, I change that law if I could. No, I really would. Night two. <laughs> oh no. So our night two thoughts will be spliced in. <laughs> With, with oh, one. stick We're around right in. after this because, you know, night two, me and Chico have a quick analysis because we've already done this. Yeah, we, we might as well just compl- be yeah. a completionist. And, of course. Yeah, just enjoy it for what it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ex- uh, expectations are, are very low. <laughs> it's going to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So that, um, so that way, whatever happens, I won't be too disappointed. Yeah. I, I expect disappointment, and you'll never be disappointed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, MJ. <laughs> but in which case, next week, y'all, we're back. And uh, it's Kenny Cornette versus Buck Nasty, Marcus Johnson. Yeah. yeah. No more contenders That's match. Next That's next week. Huh. Did not know that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. catch you off guard, baby. I got yeah, the. I'm, I'm, I'm not focused on that. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I got, uh, and I will have the contest ready. All right, all right. All so right. I might as well just um announce it. Yeah, you said you're gonna announce it. Yeah, you're gonna announce it. I will. So um, don't pull an Eve Marie on us and say it's gonna be next week. <laughs> <laughs> right. Eve Marie. All right. So, given that the Intercontinental Title is so shit on, and the fact that Scott Hall is no longer with us, and he was one of the greatest Intercontinental Champions, if not the greatest Intercontinental Champion. We are going to do what I call Intercontinental Club, where it'll be a 20 questions, all involving the Intercontinental title. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, of course you do. I love it. (laughs) That is hands down my favorite championship. Yeah, also you have knowledge on me. I'm going to have to catalog watch. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. And, and, it, <laughs> yeah, and this will, uh, just ahead of time, this will be, this will have questions from the past, present. Not to that new piece of crap, right? So I've only, I only have like a, a, a couple of like wheelhouse stuff here. So right in the middle of that. Yeah. They're, so they're, the past there will and be, what's going on now, I know nothing about. There, so I have to figure it out. There will be stuff from like the very early history of it. There will be stuff from the golden era. There will be stuff from the attitude era, ruthless aggression era, and even oh, some yeah. of the more recent years. And I'm, I may or may not throw in the internet continental title from New Japan. <laughs> the internet continental championship. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, yeah, that's so, your warehouse. I know nothing about that. Uh, that, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna study. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just see where we're at. Just pure, know? just pure brain power. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna have time to do it anyway. Yeah. So like, I work know, too we'll much. Just, I ain't got time to do we'll, it. Sure. Yeah, we'll we'll come in. Whatever knowledge we have, we have, and that'll be that. So God damn, kid, <laughs> you ever work like that? <laughs> what? Do <laughs> history. One more thing, though. Um, we gotta get some new contenders in here, cause this bores me. As Prince uh, Dave Chappelle, as Prince says, "So we got a board game of basketball." Yes. He said he he said we were boring. <laughs> I can't wait till you lose. <laughs> and you gonna see how it feels. Uh huh. But that's gonna be one nasty taken from me. Can you can't hear me right now? You do know I'm in the microphone. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, I'm like... And with that, people, with the, with the shop is closed. <laughs> uh, that's it for me. Thanks, everybody. That's me, Kenny Cornette. Oh, hit the old dusty trail. Uh, down the end there, this has been Rock Solid World Heavyweight Champion. This has been Buck Nasty Marcus Johnson. Chico Libra, I didn't even say your name. But hey, we are, all right? We gotta watch WrestleMania. I'm distraught. We'll see y'all next time. We'll see you in a minute. We're out for day two.
Ladies and gents, it's your boys, the Rock Solid Wrestling Talk Podcast. And uh, I'm here with the Rock Solid World Heavyweight Champion, Chico Libre, as you may know. Uh, we just got finished taking in WrestleMania Night 1 and 2. Miraculously, we survived. I can't believe it. As you can see, my uh, disposed demeanor means I have run out. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, We're, we ran out of fucks to give at this oh point. Oh my god. I uh, just. Man. Uh, I'm just going to go on record and say never again. I'm not doing it. Yeah. I'm just, I, I can't. Do it. I can't do it. This is what I was dreading, dude. Like, this is a chore. It's a chore. It's tedious. It's a tedious chore. This, and I, uh, I got reminded of why I don't watch this yeah. shit. None of the moments hit exactly for me on either night, except maybe Austin. It didn't hit, hit, but, you know, because yeah. I'm just so far gone from WWE. But Austin was pretty much the only... <sighs> Highlight. I'll say if I have to give it a highlight, I'll yeah. give it that. Yeah, I mean it's it's cool to see Austin like one last time. Yeah. If this is like, I'm, this better be his last match. The yeah. Way, the way that was going. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's always good to hear the glass break and just to have him like out for an appearance and to stun somebody. But he, I mean, holy, <sighs> but holy shit though, like the shit tonight though. I mean, Vince has never really taken the best stunners in the world, but th this might have been, I uh, mean, comic book man voice, worst stunner ever. I was going to put it up there, but I posted it on Facebook, and WWE immediately took it down. Seriously? Immediately. Well, <laughs> Like Those three whores. minutes, three minutes later, like some sort of sauce horror. <laughs> but I, yeah, they took it down, and uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not in the mood for getting my stuff taken down. Like, I work, I work hard on it. I'm not getting it taken down, but it really was the worst stunner ever. <laughs> uh, eat your heart out, comic book guy. Uh, yeah. My God, like. That that was tonight. Um, we said we would be back for it and stuff like that. And hey, we apologize for you know because we I, I kind of messed this up. You know, this is only my second time. You know, working with this grand of scale of set. I'll get it right next time for y'all. But you know, enjoy the audio. It's gonna be an available on the main radio dot com yeah. on Tuesday night, seven o'clock. Uh, is going to be available at the regular time slot. Uh, it actually might be available tomorrow night, to be honest. Um, tonight being so, Sunday and Monday. It depends on how fast I get to edit it because it's... So you know, so you know for sure, audio. like, uh, part one is going to be audio only. Yeah, oh yeah. That, okay. it, it's right. going to be. There's no way I can... <laughs> it's right. The lights were flaring on the green screen, and it just looked real amateur. So I was just like, "Yeah, nah, that's cool." Well, well, we yeah. did one last last season, and it wasn't bad. But yeah, yeah. I mean, something to keep in mind, like going forward. Because yeah. um, I really, I live and learn. I love our presentation of course. here, and I just want to keep that going. Oh, of course, that's but I yeah. Just, I understand shit happens. It was accidental. Like yeah. it wasn't, you know, there's something I, there's something I couldn't have more seen happening or whatever. So a bit of technical difficulties, but we will be back at this setup. Yeah, we'll, next week. Uh, we'll make easily. sure we're always right on camera for you guys as much yeah. as we. Absolutely, yeah. Because every know, time, every we time. like we like audio, but I mean, you know, I didn't build this for nothing. So right. <laughs> yeah, we got to. We gotta use what we got. Uh huh. To get what you want, you you use what you got. <laughs> it's like holy shit, we're talking here. Oh, of course, of course. Oh man, and we we as you guys saw, heard <laughs> earlier on, we we kind of went in on a whole lot of stuff. Uh, oh boy, what a what a marathon! Like, yeah. I am absolutely spent. Like, obviously, night two sucked. Like I mean, 
And I thought it, it I thought it but... actually would be the better of the two. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know why. In retrospect, I don't know why I thought that. But, but... that's not saying more. That's not saying much about night one either, because yeah, it was literally just no the vindication knowing that it was Cody coming out or whatever. It's just like, oh, okay, yeah. thank God, this is over. Like, because I'm tired uh, of it. That Austin, and then um, Austin. That's it. Bianca Belair got her her win back. Yeah, as far as a decent match, yeah, that was a decent WWE match. I'll, I'll give him that. Yeah, but t- to be honest with you, or whatever, like obviously we're grand skeptics of WWE. We just don't enjoy it. Like we just don't. Like I'm sorry, it's, we just don't. Just, we're indie heads. We, we've seen we're, we've yeah. seen better quality already. Oh yeah, and, and we've been spoiled as fuck. And we cannot sorry, go not back. Sorry, we can't go back. No, I. We can't. I refuse to go no, back. No, uh, A W. Thank you. Because <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to cleansing my palate. Yeah. With, this Wednesday, with yeah, your greatness. I, I cannot wait for dynamite. <laughs> oh my god, and uh. <laughs> We got a lot to look forward to there, but ah, uh, God, like night two was just like just as a as a standalone. Like, let's talk about the Roman Brock match for a second. Like, there yeah. isn't much to talk about. Y'all have seen it so many it, times. I was. It's the was same a small exact match. part of me that was hoping that it would be better than we predicted. Nah, son. Just, <laughs> I was hoping we would get proven wrong. We called it pretty much down to the motherfucking Every tea. single like, time. And I really should have recorded it because we were sitting there calling all the spots. Suplexes, Superman punches, F5s. And it started out you with the, the jockeying for position. Then they yeah. went and, you know, got a few suplexes in. And uh, then Roman started with the, you know, he was off on his feet. And then Brock got distracted. They did the barricade spots. And he got back in the ring. Roman hit a bunch of Superman punches. And the, all, I guess the only thing that they differentiated was the ref bump. Which led to fuckery, of course. Yeah. And that fuckery being yeah, Roman blatantly cheating. Blow, so, so it wasn't it wasn't clean. Uh, of course it wasn't clean. And they're like, oh, oh, that's just to continue the story. Fuck the story. Like, oh we're done. There's no story. They put all your effort into this and made us and, and, and built the up the biggest for two match nights. ever. And, and it's eight minutes. Like, it was it eight minutes? If, if yeah, not. yeah. Speaking of a short match time, go ahead and tell them. I'll tell them. <laughs> New Day's match <sighs> with Sheamus and Riddick Moss with Butcher. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell were they making? Got Peter Dean do got cut all the way down. This in the new day, like pay, paying a tribute to Big E, wearing his you know his leotard and his robe that he always wears. You know, yeah. the guy's out with a serious neck injury. It's gonna be like a while before he comes back. Every you know everybody's like rooting for him to come back and heal as quickly as possible. You know, just, just just out of love, and then, and then for them to, for them to pull that just so they can get in like Undertaker coming out again, again, just, just just to wave to the fans or whatever, wave to the people, yeah, bowl them kisses, yeah, and, <laughs> and and then we had to, we had Pat McAfee Austin Theory, which was you know I mean. At least uh, Pat McAfee, he is like a celebrity that, you know, uh, took it seriously and he can do stuff. This, but the story around it was mm-hmm. just yeah. not good. And I don't know what's go I don't know what's gonna happen with Austin Theory going forward. I mean it seems like that, they it seems like they're high on him, but yeah. yeah they are. He's but he's lost a lot and they had him beat Finn Balor, or did he beat Ricochet for no reason? No, no time yeah, or that's it. That's it. It was before yeah. Ricochet even got the title. He just threw it on him. Yeah, yeah. and then um, what was it? And, and then they they had him like 
They had him lose to Brock in two minutes in Madison Square Garden. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's not how you build up your futures. That's not how you no. build up your pillars. And I'm not saying that he doesn't even have to win every match to like be a big deal. Like, the reason why the four pillars in AEW are taken seriously, mm-hmm. Jungle Boy, Sammy G, MJ, Darby Allen, is because and they, while they may lose matches here and there. Yeah. The way it's booked is that they're competitive matches so that they look good and they look like they at least had a chance. They lose when it makes sense. Yeah, like MJF you, and Punk, the, like, the dog collar match. Like you're, Brit in the cage. You, you gotta make sure your talent has legit credibility. <laughs> that's how you that's how you prolong your shows and your people and that's but that's how you ensure your future. But AEW's the big leagues. No, no WWE is the big leagues, apparently. Yeah, what, yeah. what did I say? I said Welcome to the big leagues. Welcome yeah. to the big leagues. Rollins, yeah, the big leagues, bitch. Rollins, shut up, you whore. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm starting this new thing going forward. Uh, whenever we talk about anybody from the E, especially get ass kissed, I'm calling them all whores from this point because that's exactly what the fuck they are because they do all this stupid oh, ass shit boy. just because they're getting paid and sacrificing their legacies and that's just really, really sad, sad. <laughs> oh my god oh. Just, oh. speaking of whores <laughs> Sammy Zayn and Johnny Knoxville oh. Well, we knew it was going to be clown shoes. We knew the jackass we were going to come out. Yeah. I mean, we knew it was going to be like a gag match, you know. It, I mean, it was... You could say it was entertaining, but like... Yeah, it was know, entertaining, it, it, but... You know, Sami Zayn... Jack, jackass is not cool anymore. No. They're grasping at straws. These guys uh, are old. You can't have a match... You, too old. <laughs> too <laughs> lady, look at her. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! But like, just it, all that stuff. Like, it's 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 few and far between. I get you know you don't no no it's not because WWE does this on the constant, so it's not like they uh, they just, no I. I'm so yeah. out of it, dude. Like, they are just... They've yeah, sapped my strength. Yeah, Sami Zayn re-signed for this. And listen, I'm not... I'm okay for, like, you know, comedy here and there in any show. But, like... This was just, like, straight up corny. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they had that boot thing. He got kicked in the balls. They did the hand. And apparently, that's... Apparently, Mark Henry and Mae Young's kid made their debut. That was going on Twitter a lot. That that was fun. I'll give you that. And and then he did the t- the spot with like mouse traps mm-hmm. on the table. On the and table. Sammy and then, then the big the giant mouse that. trap. He, yeah, he gets caught in the giant mouse trap they brought to the ring, and uh. he's caught. That's that's how Knoxville gets the pin. Like it. It's just such a fall from grace. Like mm. you see him, you see him as El Generic on Ring of Honor, which yeah. I can, I cannot wait for that. Whenever that streaming becomes available, <sighs> HBO Max or whatever else. I just want, and, yeah. And man. then, but then, just even just to see him as Sami Zayn in NXT, like the like this, take like you this, seriously as like, a wrestler, like the the scrappy underdog, yeah. and then he would to watch him go from that to this. Mm-hmm. It's just. It's so disappointing. It's it's disappointing <laughs> to see Rollins go from go from where he came from, from Ring of Honor to the Shield to like to wearing Charlotte's clothes. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't fucking know, man. Like, and then somebody else wore them tonight, right? Yeah, and then who <laughs> wore it tonight? Somebody stole I mean, Seth's clothes. I mean, I mean, Kevin Owens, I can understand him wanting to come back if they offered him, like, <clears throat> Austin at Mania, and mm-hmm. I, I understand that's his idol, and I know, I'm know i I'm sure he was more than willing to take bumps for him, and I'm, he, he doesn't give a fuck about losing to him. It's Stone Cold mm-hmm. Steve Austin. It's, no. Just to be, just to be in the ring with him, I'll, I'll say that it's an honor. I'll say that. Yeah. But... 
I mean, even before before that though, like you just see him go from like just go switch brands like every year, and then nothing happens. Like he he like <laughs> before this, like I don't he wasn't doing anything profound. No, no, he wasn't. And yeah. yeah, it's just. And guess what? We're going right back. So disappointing. We're going right back to how things used to be or the status quo of WWE now because their grand little showcase is over and they can't get any other stories right throughout the year. So I, for one, welcome I, yeah, our they're... AEW overlords. <laughs> yeah, they're... Like it... All it, I just got reminded why I don't watch this show and I don't... I'm not watching these yeah. whores any more than I already <laughs> have. To, I gave you enough of my time. Guys, it's it's not for me. It's I mean, not I, for it's not for Buck Nasty. I mean, I I do appreciate like Rick Tony and Jalen stopping by and oh yeah, hanging that was, out. It was I a did, lot of fun. I did have a good time with with those guys, regardless of how Mania went. Mm-hmm. And I I'm looking forward to when we watch a real show, Double or Nothing <laughs> 2022. Back and yeah, and and uh, yeah. get some real excitement going. Right, because we you know we're in the end of that. Yeah. But my God, like, do, do you want to do you want to talk about this anymore? <laughs> oh, let's. Uh, I'm so I mean, we, we could touch real quick on. I mean, the the tag team match um, with like RK Bro, Street Profits. They designed that to be Academy. an opener. Yeah, and it's the same it, old spots that people yeah. just that, you know. Do you, it was a. That was a decent WWE match, so as far as spots go, and then they brought in Gable Stevenson to the ring. Like, I just learned I was today years old when I learned that apparently, like Chad Gable goes, sheesh. Yeah, I don't know that what is. the hell. Like, it was like five O's or two U's. Or yeah, something. like <laughs> that's the thing with their their characters. They have they do like these weird ass mannerisms, like him doing shoes. Seth Rollins with his stupid ass laugh. Like, <laughs> Those are so his mannerisms. Hey. <laughs> it's, it's, this, this isn't even like it's not even heat to where like uh, you just you just want to see what they do in the story next. Like rock like th- they have go away heat with me. Like I I don't ever want to see these guys ever again. <laughs> And, it, and that's and it just really sad. Yeah, it, it was, and it wasn't like that. Like, I I love the shield. Like, mm-hmm. and even when the Rollins turned heel, it was mm-hmm. e- even that was like there was some issues with that. It should have been. It should have been Moxley from Jump that turned. I'll die on that hill. Perhaps, but um, yeah, you know. There was no reason you, for Seth to do that. I mean. I mean, his money in the bank win was good, and you know we popped for the for the cash in. You remember that, of course. But mm-hmm. just from then to now, though, I'm just like, if you had told me that that would happen, like I never would have believed it. And I'm just still despondent over Cody the whole the whole situation because he's just oh. been sniping all day. Yeah, just one more thing about Underhanded that. Because um, I, I don't want to, I don't want that to take up the whole second part, but mm-hmm. um. They popped in like extra crowd noise for that debut, and when they showed it you, back, you're not slick, mm-hmm. okay? And the, the people who really want to, oh, it was magical, it was amazing. The people who, you know, it's, it was stupendous. Hey! Uh, I, I don't, I don't got the energy anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm so... <laughs> Ah, God, I just yeah. Oh. Mania is over. I have no yeah. more energy for that. Yeah, please. Uh, let's just let's just let's just go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, it's late, and uh, I'm uh. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, Main Ray. I I appreciate the opportunity to like live stream tonight. Yep. And I do look forward to doing stuff with you guys in the future, but mm-hmm. I'm I don't know if I can do this WWE shit again. Yeah, the WWE stuff like uh, we gotta 
we got to get rid of. We got to get back to our roots. Yeah, and like um, like I'm all for keeping up with everything all together. Yeah. Like even, even like Ring of Honor, GCW, even MLW sometimes. <sighs> or if I don't know if NWA will ever get their shit together. But shout out to Mac, <laughs> shout out to Matt Cardona. Like again, he him being champion is the right call. But mm-hmm. the E just like. The E is it, it, just, it just... It just it just drained my energy. It's a spectacle not for me. Yeah. There's nothing that they could do that would be interesting enough to bring me back. And I only watched it literally so that, you know, we can... We can show with the, the main guys. And, uh, and to be able yeah. to say, okay, well... It's... Yeah. You know, we're... We're... You know, we're covering our wrestling here on the podcast yeah. or whatever, but... I just, me personally, yeah. like, I'm never going to be able to look at at, at WWE objectively. Yeah, I, especially, and I think part of that was because I watched Super Card of Honor this weekend, which was great, and, mm-hmm. but I had to get a wrestling, a good wrestling show in my system before this. Like, I had to prepare. Let's hook it to my veins. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely needed it, and, uh... It was just one of those things where I just, uh, I, I can't, I can't go on <laughs> thinking about the E anymore. I just can't. Um, it's, I'm, I'm spent. Yeah. I'm spent, but not in the right way. <laughs> so, no. that's why I feel so but dirty. On the, on the upside, we do have Dynamite to look forward to this week and yeah. weeks to come. Yep. And thank goodness. And it, it's not too long until Double or Nothing weekend, aka Memorial Day weekend. Not too. Come on, please. So, load us up a car, Tony K. Please. They, they got this. They got this. Please. But until then, uh, please Wednesday, I need you. Save me, yeah. <laughs> please. Uh, goodness. That's about it. Yeah, I'm done. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't keep going on. Like just you know, wipe, wipe the board. I'm just. I. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm. Well, <laughs> we had. Uh, we did WrestleMania, and uh, we're not doing backlash. No. No. I uh, and I don't plan on doing SummerSlam either. We'll, yeah, no, we're done doing we'll, the WWE we'll, stuff. We'll t- like. we'll timeline watch and touch on it. Yeah, that's to, what we just always to, do. Just to keep up with the broad spectrum. We'll but. keep you guys up with it and our opinions on yeah. stuff. But when we keep you apprised of our opinions and stuff, we don't watch it. We actually timeline yeah. watch, like yeah, and just, see what everybody else is saying about it. If it's a segment we need to see, just to kind of gauge or whatever, we'll go on YouTube. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch on the timeline. I do yeah. watch the, I do listen to the Wrestling Observer clips. Okay. Um. So shout out to them. Yeah. And so we stay, we stay I, informed. I listen to Solid Monster. He he's still braving it out and watching the, sh- <laughs> the show's front. To back. I can't watch. The I don't. Show. I don't know how he does it, but yeah. thank you for your service, sir. Yeah, I can't. I can't watch oh. the show. Oh my god! Uh, I'll leave that to the professional professionals, <laughs> so yeah. the people that actually enjoy it, because we are professionals. We really are. So, uh, but that being said, uh, at least thank you for l- not making me suffer through it alone. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Kitty Cornette, you're gonna get your ass here <laughs> one yeah. time. Yeah, it, well, you know, well, it's not going to be a next time, really. Well, to be, to be fair, before this podcast suffer. was a thing, you and Kenny watched last year's WrestleMania, and I said, "Yeah, that, we so. did. Yep, we did." See, I, I always it, get roped in somehow. It, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was my turn to take one. Yeah, for two. yeah, yeah. I'm the common denominator with that. Yeah. It's just like, uh, God, yeah, but I'm, um, I spent. I just <sighs> WWE man. Whatever. <laughs> well, from yeah. poor where, wrestling entertainment. How about that? From wherever. Wait, whatever. Wait, whatever. 
Uh, Ian Moxley! No, let me stop. I want AW. Let's go. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me, Neil. <laughs> I'm done. But, hey, we're wrapping up here. Uh, any final thoughts, Chico? Um... Yeah, that was... I think I'm gonna go to bed and die. <laughs> oh yeah, um, yeah, I will timeline watch like tomorrow at least. I know. Oh yeah. Cody is supposed the to go to promo after Mania. Oh, uh, he's gonna cry. Yeah. God. What? Good luck, man. That's all. Yeah, I'm gonna say. that's it. That's all we're gonna say. Good luck. You know, I'm fine. But in which case, I'm uh, I'm over it <laughs> again. Thanks for the night. And uh, we'll see you guys next week on the Rock Solid Wrestling Talk Podcast. Yeah. So, your world's heavyweight champion of Rock Solid, Chico Libre, and Buck Nasty, Marcus Friggin' Johnson. Yeah. Peace. Y'all. Yeah.